A man from Iowa is under arrest. He's accused of planning to sexually assault who he thought was a 12 year old girl from Granville. Investigators say Dennis Patrick Reed is charged with persuading or enticing a minor and attempting to travel out of state to engage in illicit sexual conduct. He traveled from Oskaloosa, Iowa to Granville in July to meet up with a young girl, but it turned out to be a sting involving Homeland Security. 13 on your signs, Justin Bachman explains how the arrest was made. Yeah, Val, looking over that 23 page criminal complaint, it is chilling. It turns out that even before crossing state lines, Dennis Reed had nightmares that he was talking to an undercover detective, but he made the trip to West Michigan anyway. To be honest, it's way more prevalent than anyone would actually like to think about. Detective Trooper Thomas Gladney with Michigan State Police's Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force says cases like this happen all the time. Dennis Patrick Reed began chatting with an undercover Homeland Security investigations agent online, posing as a single mother to a 12-year-old girl. I wish I could say it's difficult, but it really isn't. Reed had messaged the undercover agent talking about incest, being open-minded, and saying that, quote, age didn't matter. We've had situations where people will make it an undercover account, and within you know minutes to an hour, they're getting uh, contacted by you know these individuals on the internet that are looking to contact an underage uh, victim. It's it's not something you have to try very hard at. Court documents allege Reed had made plans to have sex with the undercover agent's fabricated 12-year-old daughter, even making a hotel reservation at the Best Western in Granville for July 29th, planning to meet the girl's mother at a nearby Russ's restaurant in Wyoming for coffee. In this case, the Homeland Security agent was playing the part of the child's mother, but Detective Gladney says often predators are contacting children directly. He says there's two important things for parents to do. One is to monitor who your children are interacting with online, and the other... To make sure that your kids are okay coming to you if they do get contacted online, they have to know that, that you're a trusted adult that's not going to blame them for the interaction. How do you find a balance of building that trust and still watching what your kids are doing. Um, and every every case is going to be different because um, every kid is different. But you just kind of have to know know their personalities and notice that if there's a change. According to court documents, Reed told the undercover agent he previously had a sexual relationship with a 14 year old. He was arrested on July 30th at a hotel in Granville. Detective Trooper Gladney says most of the cases the ICAC task force sees come from community tips. So if you know anyone that's raising suspicion or of a child that needs resources, you can find a link to get involved at 13onyourside.com.